So I needed some place to store my paints. They were all stacking here in the corner. So I decided to build this heavy duty shelving unit. It's made out of two by fours and two by threes and MDF. So stick around and I'll show you how I did it. Okay, they all came out the same length. That's good because all I did was chop 16 inches off the top of all these two by fours. Now I'll go ahead and plant them and start to put them together. Oh, every time I use this, I remind myself that I'm gonna build a, a dedicated stand for this. So look for that as a future project for sure. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put these together. I'm gonna to use my corner clamps here. Make it real easy to keep everything nice and square. For the long side, I'm going to cut these at 27 inches. And for the depth, I'm using 16 inches since those are just the cutoffs I have from the 2x4s I just used. Making sure everything's square. The top is down about 8 inches or so. Once that's on, I'll flip it over and put the 27 inch sides on. Again, making sure everything's square. So I got tired of paying so much for castor wheels. I got these off Amazon, they're made in China. The stuff you buy at Lowe's and Hope Depot are made in China too, so. I'm going to test these out. These are about half the price of what I can get them. They're all locking. I'm going to go ahead and give these a try. Contact me in a couple months and I'll tell you what I think of them. Okay, let's see what we got with the shell. I'm glad that work table's sturdy. Okay, so I'm going to put more shelves in here, of course. Just have to measure to make sure the five gallon pails will fit on the bottom. Oh, I like that feather board there. For the shelving, I'm going to use my crosscut sled. So I need this to be just under 30 inches. So I'll set the fence up to that. Put it up against there. And now I'll move the fence out of the way and let the crosscut sled work. go. 
I'm using the scrap wood as temporary spacers. So you see me move them over to the other side. As long as they're the same length, it'll work great. I'm using two by threes for the shelves. For the bottom one, I'm going to leave this front off. That way I can grab the pails easier. That three quarter inch MDF will be plenty strong enough. Using more spacers, different length this time. Repeat just like the first shelf, and it's all done. Decided to put a couple coats with my HVLP gun. I don't know why it took me so long to get one of these. It's so convenient. Time for some iron-on edge banding. Just clean it up a little bit. Instead of trimming it, this is how I do it. And all done. Nice clean corner.